Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example of how to use Green's theorem to find the area is not so much about making it a lot easier, but more about the technique itself. Because in this case, it's not that difficult to find the area between these two curves right here. Normal calculus can do that quite easily. But let's see how we would do it if we were to apply the Green's theorem equation where the area is equal to one half times the line integral of x dy minus y dx and notice that we're going to integrate in a counterclockwise direction which is a positive orientation. Now we start out with the equation here but then we realize there's really two lines. There's the curve y equals 4x squared and the straight line y equals 16x. So it looks like we're going to have to integrate twice and add those two together and that's indeed what we're going to do. The total area enclosed is going to be the sum of the two integrals when we integrate along the y equals 4x squared curve and then along the y equals 16x line. So let's go ahead and do that. So finding a1 along the first curve, that is going to be equal to 1 half times the integral along that curve. Now we're using the parametric equations, which are defined right here for curve number 1. So notice that for x, we have t. So we have t multiplied times dy, and dy here is going to be 8t dt. Subtract from that y, which is 4t squared, times dx, which is going to be dt. And notice the limits of integration are going to be t limits, and since t is equal to x, the limits are going to be from 0 to 4 along the first path. So this is equal to 1 half times integral from 0 to 4, and notice we have an 8t squared minus 4t squared, that would be 4t squared dt, 4t squared dt, and of course the 4 times 1 half is 2, so this is equal to 2 times, when we integrate t squared we get t cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to 4. When we plug in the lower limit, we get 0, plug in the upper limit, we get uh, 4q, which is 64 times 2, 128 divided by 3. And now we find a2. Now a2 is going to be 1 half times the integral, but now we're coming back from here to here. t limits, same as x limits, are going to be from 4 to 0. And x times dy, x is equal to t. And dy is going to be 16 dt minus y for the second curve is 16 t and dx is going to be dt. But notice here we have a 16 t dt minus 16 t dt which is equal to 0. So this is equal to 1 half times the integral from 4 to 0 of 0 which is 0. And now to find the total area, we simply have to add the results of the two, a1 plus a2, which is equal to 128 divided by 3 plus 0, which is 128 divided by 3, which is indeed the area between those two curves. And see, Green's theorem, again, great way to find the area between curves, although in this particular case, it's not as difficult to try to do that using the traditional methods, but Green's theorem is indeed very helpful here. And that's how it's done.